we're celebrating Women's History Month with a conversation on women who wear their history well. My next guest is Gail Lewis, president of the Prince George's County section of the National Council of Negro Women. With her is Elsie Conway, also a member of the NCNW. Welcome, ladies. I'm so glad to have you here in the tea room. Thank I feel you. like I just want to get down and bow and say thank you. It's Women's History Month, all the stuff that you all have done over the years. So I'm really excited and honored to just have you here in the tea room with me. Um, first thing I want to where is the national office? It's located at 7th and Pennsylvania Avenue, 6th and Pennsylvania Avenue. It was the old uh, Sears Roebuck uh, administrative office. Oh, okay, okay. Now, Before is it called anything, or is it just the... Dorothy I. Height Building. This is yes. 633 Pennsylvania Avenue. Oh, so mm -hmm. the building is named after the, Dorothy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so when we all in this area know Dorothy Height, but for those who may not know her, when was she the chairperson at some point? Um, you know, tell me about her a little bit. She's a very interesting... She started person. with Mary McLeod Bethune, yes. that she wow. read her early in New York wow. uh, from the YWCA. Okay. And uh, she started at a very early age, mm -hmm. and she put together with other organizations the National Council of Negro Women. Wow. Dorothy Height was a woman of humility. Mm. On many occasions, I can remember that she always used titles not degrees particularly, but for you were Mr., Miss, or Mrs. Aww. When she talked with you or when she addressed you in meetings, mm. yes. uh, she advocated and promoted no one left behind. Okay. She was one who built this organization that is an organization of all national organizations, mm. starting with the young girls, and that is our motto and purpose is to have women and men now to uh, partake of the findings and the good things of life through the National Council of Negro Women. And we wow. start early with the girls. Wow, so, so how early do you start with girls? At 12 years old. 12 years old, okay. That's yes, that. we have a youth um, community-based section. Mm -hmm. We have the associate members. Mm -hmm. We have the collegiate university mm -hmm. sections, mm -hmm. and then we have the national affiliates. That's all the the uh, sororities, women's church groups, nurses units. There is something in NCNW for everyone. For everybody. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, is it the National Family um, black, Reunion, the Black, the black Family, family Reunion? reunion mm -hmm. That's yes. uh, Who was the founder of that? And tell me uh, what that looked like when it was founded and what it looks like today. Dr. Height founded the Black Family Reunion. And years ago, we used to occupy the whole mall downtown. Okay. I mean, DC. people from all over would come, mm -hmm. and it was um, the people from the National Council of Negro Women, the women, we would all work together at different pavilions and have entertainment. We had lots of entertainment from different areas all over the states and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But now, it's taken sort of a turn where we don't, the Park Service have not given us all the space that we used to have mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the mall, but we still have it. Oh, excellent, excellent. We still have it. And, uh, it's so what was the purpose of that, though? I, I understand because often when the founder is gone, there seems to be correction in a lot of things, in a lot of organizations. That's not unusual. So what, what was her purpose? What was the, the reason we needed to do that? To bring people together. For what reason? Just to bring them together so they will just get to know each other. And, you know, it's a black family reunion for the Afro-American people because Dr. Height was involved in the civil rights movement because mm -hmm. she always talked about the building. It's the only building owned by black people be from the White House to the Capitol. And it's owned by us, the women. Wow, yes. fantastic. Yes, yeah. and, and the Black Family Reunion, when you go to the Black Family Reunion, you see these different people working, you see a lot of the women that's in the sections from different 
areas, different states. Wow. People from all over come to that. That's good. That's and it's good. just not limited to people in NCNW. It's open to everybody. Tell me about your values uh, as an organization. I, 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 I'm looking for, you know, what do you value do you, in families? What are we teaching? What are you putting out there in terms of the family, the black family or the African-American family? We're putting out there for families to hang in there together and help each other because we are, um, we have families. We have uh, grandmothers, grand daughters, and granddaughters that come there and we are a community-based organization and we value women and life. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. So when was your chapter started? 1981. 1981. 1981. Yes. And what are you doing um, as it connects, as a collaboration from the national office to the local office here, here in PG County? What are you, Prince George's County, sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> we are in tune with the national. Mm -hmm. uh, we receive our directors from them uh, under the directorship of the chair now, mm -hmm. uh, Barbara Ch uh, Shaw. Mm -hmm. We are three, three of four, one of four uh, or sections in Prince George's County, and we advocate and promote family life That's what through the for. education. We do community work. Uh, we uh, train young ladies, and see. NCNW is all facet. We have all the vocations, all the intellectual, and we do a composite thing of, of international. We, right. we did have international sections. Absolutely, I did. Yes. Yeah, I, I read something about that, yes. and I, I wish we had an opportunity to get into it. But what I wanted to ask you was oftentimes organizations like yours struggle with connecting the younger generation every year you know a different generation comes up what are you doing to attract this is an awesome organization even here in our own county so yes. what are we doing to connect these 30 and 40 year old women who may know nothing about you because they've been disconnected we in when we meet young ladies we try to mentor them mm -hmm. We bring them to our meetings. We involve them. Mm -hmm. And as the president, I tell them exactly what we're doing mm -hmm. and what we, ex what we expect from them. And um, sometimes I get calls at home and I'll have a personal one-on-one -on -one talk with them and they can tell me what they expect of me. When I have, are, they, are they welcome? They're, they're, they're definitely. That's what I'm yeah. ready to tell you. Tell, talk, when, talk to them right now. Tell <laughs> them to come when, and be a part of this. Come and be a part of yeah. our section. I'm a hugging president. <laughs> when you come into my meeting, Elsie will tell you, I hug you after the meeting. I go out and I talk to you. Mm -hmm. I hug you when you go out the door. And so I, lots of love. Lots, lots of, love. of love. Lots, lots of, love. of love. That's not important. From me, That's major. Not from yes. just me, but everybody is lots of love. And we just love everybody. It's okay, a well, sisterhood. That's what it's sisterhood a, is. It's a sisterhood. Love. That's what I'm and, talking and about. In our section, we love you so much that when you talk about something, we let you go on and chair the committee for that.